finally yes Yo guys, what's going on? It's me, KLV, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about on how to actually get the Sledgehammer Diamond or Dark Aether or whatever the quickest. So, basically, I have it right now as the Diamond Camera just because it looks more cooler in my opinion. It's just like you got the actual diamonds on the head, and then you got the nice little handle was nice like pinkish, purplish type of thing. So, for starters, I want to say that getting it. Dark Aether, it ain't too hard, it ain't too hard at all, a lot of the weapons ain't that hard to actually get Dark Aether on, um, especially the newer ones anyway, because we just had SMGs, assault rifles and melee and we'll have a shotgun soon, hopefully, but um, with the melee, it's kind of difficult, it's, it's in the middle, it's in the middle, so it's difficult but not at the same time, so the difficult part is mainly just levelling it up, um, I had to do this in Zombies just because on how I play in multiplayer, it's like I get, always get try hard lobbies, so trying to use a melee weapon and when I have double weapon XP activated, I feel like I'm kind of wasting it because I'm getting like 10 games, maybe 20 uh, a time with a melee was not too good so I decided to do it in zombies and I got a decent amount of XP so how I actually did these challenges is quite simple so we're gonna first off talk about the the uh, grunge camera this again really simple just get 750 kills the problem is simplest you can get is you just have to get kills for the liquid ones you just have to get 50 kills with a sledgehammer against enemies who are disoriented disoriented by a stun grenade monkey bomb or decoy now the ones i recommend for this is a decoy and a stun grenade monkey bomb i do not recommend doing because the reason why is because a monkey bomb explodes at the end so it will basically kill all of your crowd of zombies what can really hurt your uh how quick you do i just want to pause the video and say if you're not subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button it takes two seconds of your day and it I, helps me out a ton and if you want to you can like the video as well that's completely up to you but if you want to subscribe i appreciate it so uh let's get back to the video yeah. next we have got the uh brush stroke uh, you just have to get 750 kills with the sledge hammer when it's pack a punched again really simple one to do uh, one of the simple ones again to do Next with the vintage, this we have to get 15 kills with a sledgehammer against enemies who are affected by frost blast, ring of fire, or why you have ether shroud activated. So now good ones to use, I recommend ring of fire and ether shroud. Reason why is because ring of fire, I recommend doing it against the elites, what we'll talk about in a minute. And then ether shroud as well, I recommend doing that because you're basically invisible, so they're not going to attack you. So you can just get a couple of easy kills right there. So definitely ether shroud is a really good one to do, and ring of fire is a nice one to do. Next, we have got the uh, the Fauna, I think that's how you say it, but this basically you just have to get elite kills, 10 elite kills. Uh, again, you can use the Aether Shroud ability to do this so you're invisible so the uh, Megaton doesn't uh, target you. Or you can use Ring of Fire so you can like get it in like two hits. So, really, one to, really easy one to do. Now, you can do this either in solo so it has less health, I believe it has less health anyway. Or you can do it in multiplayer where they spawn in more. If you didn't know, they spawn more uh, megatons in MP games. So if you even if you just private match with two people, you'll get more megatons than you do solo. So yeah, uh, you, there's two ways there. You can do it solo, where it's kind of easy to kill them, or you can do it with uh, multiplayer with where they spawn more. Up to you. So next, we have to get 10 kills rapidly, 10 times. You'll get this naturally, just trying to get kills anyway. So when you're probably doing these challenges or these ones, you'll get them just naturally anyway. Now this one is the hardest challenge set to do, uh, especially for melee. Like when it's just like ARs or SMGs or something like that, it is easy. But this one for melee is the hardest in my opinion. Reason why is we have to get 20 or more consecutive kills with the sledgehammer without getting hit. So we have to not get hit with the sledgehammer, but we have to get 20 kills in, in that process. Uh, we have to do this 10 times. So we have to get about 200 kills without getting hit. Now. What I recommend for this is just by doing, uh, going to round from 1 to 7 and then leaving at round 1 to 7 or you can just die yourself, whatever you want to do, whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, I just left the game. Now, what I recommend is just basically, yeah, like I said, going round 1 to 7. reason why is because you'll get about 40 kills. 40 kills is like one challenge. So basically, once you're done one challenge, get a couple of more kills and then leave the game. And then, uh, yeah, 40 kills without getting hit is a lot more easier that's why I did round one to seven this was solo anyway so if you're doing it in public you can probably get more anyway uh, also what I recommend is try and um, 
not rush yourself with this try not rush just be patient with it it really helps just be patient it if you're rushing this you're gonna get hit loads of times and uh yeah there's uh, there's one more thing that i recommend is when you if you try and do this at later rounds like round 20 or above you, the enemies start attacking you a lot more quicker and they because there will be more in like hordes anyway i was like training them anyway so they'll be in like a horde um they're basically if you try and kill one one from behind that one that you're trying to kill will then hit you so it makes it a little harder that's why i recommend doing one to seven as not many zombies come but you can get uh, consecutive kills quite easily and uh yeah this is then how you get dark ether this applies for the melee and for the new melee that's going to be coming soon well i don't know if i'm going to get i don't know if i'm going to get the new melee just for the simple fact that I'm not going to use the melee weapons, that's the thing, I'm not going to use the melee weapons, especially the sledgehammer, I'm not going to use a sledgehammer, um, I rarely use the knife anyway, but I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to use it anymore, but uh, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel, it would be very much appreciated, and uh, yeah, see you guys later.